we're sailing into an area famous for humpback whale sightings, Wilhelmina Bay. On board our ship, the Fridjof Nansen, there's a complement of independent scientists. They're getting the opportunity to perform genuine research in Antarctic waters. Okay, green light from down here. Today, I'm heading out with Ariana Torello and Blake Marin from the University of California, Santa Cruz. They're on board studying whales, equipped with some unusual kit. We've got a drone we're going to be using to measure their body condition. Uh -huh. um, and then we've also got a crossbow up here, which we're going to be using to collect some uh, skin and blubber, some remote biopsy samples from them. It isn't long before Blake's drone spots its first signs of whales spouting air. Coming up. Oh, there's a car. Because Blake and Ariana are going to be using a crossbow and a drone, we're riding parallel to them on a separate boat. We're going to have to keep a distance of about 100 or so metres when they spot a whale, just to ensure that we don't agitate the animal and they keep it as calm as possible. They're going to be really careful not to injure the whales. They don't shoot anywhere near the animal's head, around its face or eyes. We're right on top of it. We're right on top of it. It looks like Ariana's going to take a shot. OK, I got a shot. Nice. That was mom right there. And they're reeling it back in. OK, skin and blubber. Yeah, just holding here. No reaction? Yeah, no response. No response. That means there isn't any sign that the whale felt the crossbow's bolt. The samples retrieved yeah, we're good. and quickly prepped for storage. Hi guys. Hey. How'd hey. go? Hi. All good. What sort of whales did you manage to get samples from there? So that sighting was with two humpback whales. It was actually a mom and a calf. A lot of our tissue samples are actually telling us some information on the pregnancy rates of humpbacks. We know that the pregnancy rates are high, the population is increasing, and we're also seeing more calves on the water. Using the crossbow to uh, collect those samples, it looks like it's pretty vicious. Does it, does it injure or upset the animals at all? No, absolutely not. So in terms of injury, you know, we can immediately say no. We've been using this type of sampling method as a lab group for about two decades. The way we like to describe it is maybe like a flick or more of a shock factor, but frequently we don't see any response at all. How important is it that you get those samples back and into the freezer quite quickly? <laughs> it's actually pretty important, so we should probably head out now. Okay, we'll see you guys back in shit. We're basically just storing all of the samples right now for analysis later. So these are blubber samples? Then. Yeah, so that bit of skin and blubber. You can see it's a, at a bit of an angle um, from where, when it entered the animal. Yeah. But about half skin, half blubber there. Blake, what do you hope this research will achieve? Yeah, so I think it's going to give us a lot of information on um, how these animals eat, how they are able to reproduce, just really understanding this population of particularly humpback whales um, in general and being able to start to look for changes when we consider things like climate change, krill fishing, you know, increasing tourism in Antarctica. The Travel Show, your essential guide wherever you're heading. Every weekend on BBC News.